Yeah, yeah, check one, two, check one, two. Is this mic on? Is this mic on? Hey, listen, man. It's the one and only Trent set of DJ Sense, and you're listening to Cocktails. Dirty Discussions with Kiki and Medina Monroe. Yeah. Today's cocktail is called a quickie. What you need is one cup of ice, a 12-ounce container of frozen raspberry lemonade, thawed, and a half cup of vodka. What you're going to do is, in a shaker, add the ice, frozen raspberry lemonade, and add vodka together. Shake it up and fresh raspberries, if desired, serve over ice. That's a quickie, and it's quick. That was real quick. Have you ever made that for yourself? I haven't, but I think I might. Yeah. Okay, well, welcome back to Cocktail Series Discussions, you guys. Hey, y'all. So, what's been going on, Medina? Um, life has been going on. I have my hair straight this week, and I feel like a different person. I was going to ask you if you feel different. You look different. I it's feel always different so weird. when my hair is straight. It's so funny how, like, now wearing curly hair is, like, a norm, and that used to not be the norm. I mm-hmm. love my curly hair. I kind of miss it. I know, right? Like, a piece of my hair got wet this morning. I was like, but I really don't have time. I woke up late. Girl. I was up all night watching Bravo. I was up all night with Hannah. Shout out to Hannah. My best friend is in town. She lives in New York now. Is that why you were taking tequila Girl, shots? Girl, tequila. It wasn't even Hannah that had me doing the tequila shots. Hannah was socializing. Nay, who was like, let's go twerk and take tequila uh-uh. shots. I was like, yes! Hey, you listen girl, to me, girl. No, thank you. I had fun though. Well, what else is going on? Voiceover, mm-hmm. turn up, checks is popping up in the mail. What's up? That's exciting. It is. What you been up to? Um, I've just been working as well. I have a new YouTube series that is about to launch in a couple of weeks. It'll be launching in mm. April. So I hope that you guys are following me on Instagram and that you are subscribed to my channel so that you see it when mm-hmm. it pops up because I've made a little trailer. So that's how you'll find out what it is. And then also I'm doing a hair giveaway. For Limitless Bundles, you guys know when I make my wigs and my weaves and stuff, I always use the same company, and we're giving away some hair this month. So what kind of hair? Um, whatever kind you want. You get to pick three bundles and three, clo- three bundles and a closure or a frontal. Oh my god! So make sure you guys are following me so that I'll announce how to win and when you can win. Can I enter have- the contest? Yeah, or is like can- I can't. You can. I'm entering because I yeah, need some bundles. Yeah, I'm the only one who can't, but I've got some new hair. Y'all, I'm about to be copper in a minute, and I'm kind of excited because I haven't had a color like that in a while. And y'all know how I lived for my blonde hair, so I, I'm excited about that. That might debut the next time you see a video of us. I'm going to call you this Penny. Weekend. Penny? The copper? Oh, wait. wait who's Aren't Penny? Penny's copper? Oh, I thought you meant Penny like a character. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, you can call me Penny. Um. All right, so today, uh, hopefully our guest gets here. We are waiting on Young Jock. Yeah, but he I called him, I texted him. So, you guys, if the episode goes and he does not show up, we are going to blow his mentions up. And at the end of the episode, if he's still not here, I'm going to divulge some embarrassing information. So, we'll, yes. just, we'll just see how That's that goes. That's what we do if Just you in case you didn't up. know. Like, it's already out there, so I don't feel so bad. But um, before we talk about him and why we're bringing him on and all of that stuff, since he's not here, we'll go ahead and move on to weird sex. You said a man is not... A necessity, a man is a luxury, like dessert. <laughs> yeah. A man is absolutely not a necessity. Did you mean that to sound mean and bitter? Oh, or not at all. I adore dessert. <laughs> I love men. I think men are the coolest. But you don't really need them to live. So, I want to tell you guys about a creep. Remember, if you are a longtime listener, you probably remember Douchebag of the Week. So this is going to be kind of a throwback <sighs> to Douchebag of the Week because there is a judge in New York who is weird. Medina, <laughs> let me ask you this. Have you ever... Fucked a judge. No. <laughs> well, no, you told that story already. <laughs> no, have you ever just been so sexually attracted to, like, a man's smell. Like, not just his smell, but, like, the smell of his balls or the smell of his semen or maybe even his booty hole. Maybe not a booty hole. Not a booty hole. Mm -hmm. But, like, the smell that a man leaves on you, like, in your privates when you're – it's, like, the scent of him. I have been, like, like Like, smelling my panties. Like, I smell like him. Okay, well. (laughs) I thought everyone was going to be like, me too, girl. I'm sure you're not – I mean, I like the smell of a man. I like the creep. I like to spray his cologne on me, but you probably didn't break into his house and steal his drawers or nothing. No, I, it was my drawers. You know, after you fuck somebody, you kind of so, smell like him still a little. So let me tell you what this person did. So this oh judge Lord. in New York um, broke into his Long Island neighbor's home to steal her underwear. 
he has been formally uh, suspended. So the New York Chief Judge Jana DeFore on Monday signed, well, that's today, signed a decision ordering Judge Robert, I don't know how to say his last name. I'm going to assume he's Italian. Sasali? Sakal? I don't know. I'm going to put his name up so y'all know. And he broke into the girl's house. She heard somebody there. She saw him run away. He stole her fucking panties. That's all he got. Yes, that's all he wanted was her dirty old, draws. Yeah. I love you like your dirty draws. Like, he he was... Is he going to jail? Mm. Or is that just like... Because it's like he didn't harm anyone. He didn't but really he take it. he did any. break into a home. He did. So I wonder, like... you cannot do that. So, um... He went back into the. He admitted that he went back into the house to take panties again. This isn't the first time he's done this. Um, Before this, he had a stellar reputation, but that is done, and now he's just the panty snatcher. That's weird. Isn't that so weird? Could you imagine if you woke up in the middle of the night, some nigga had broke into your house, and you're scared. You're like, I'm gonna think somebody wants to rape me. And he's like, No, like, where are your dirty clothes at? I I just need to get them. Here, here they are. And he just grabs like your nastiest dirtiest period stained up panties and like thanks that is so fucking creepy like I thank you not... though but i'll be like but thank you do you want the ones i have on no go you need to go <laughs> because i'm freaked out like i honestly i just couldn't imagine i would be so scared i probably pee on those and then he would want those and then he would get too close and i'm still gonna think he wants to rape me like who does that creeps he was a creep, and they had pictures of him like being escorted out of wherever they picked him up from. I don't know where they arrested him at, but he was like in handcuffs. He probably has and a I'm whole like, entire family. Yes, and it's this is a judge. Like it's not just Joe Schmo. Like you're the person who's up here handing out sentences. Your whole career is gone because you were sniffing dirty pooty draws. Yeah, like there is a website for that. I told you guys about it on Weird Sex a long time ago. The website where the girl was like selling dirty panties and selling her poop on the internet. Anybody out there who has a fetish, I don't want to shame you for your fetish, but be careful because if you break into somebody's house, you are going to get in trouble. If you're you going caught. to jail, and you better not be black because you're not getting out. So. You're not. You're going to be sitting down there for about a year <laughs> because you want to smell some musty panties when you could have smelled anybody's musty panties. But you know what? I would love to get somebody on the show who does have a weird fetish like that and is okay with talking about it. Like, I know someone who has Who a, likes panties? He doesn't like panties, but oh. he likes to be, um, like, if you have a dog, he wants you to put your dog's collar on him, put him in the dog's kennel, and, like, you know, fart on him and shit, and, like, and kick wait, him and tell wait, him. Wait, wait, wait. I know a person right he now. He wants you to fart on him while he's in the dog cage well, with you, the collar. Yeah, with the collar and the leash and everything, dog smell and everything. Put him in the kennel, close the kennel, act like he's done something bad, fart around him, let him out, kick him. He, he'll pay you to do it. How much does he pay? Girl. Because uh, <laughs> I don't mind having a part time. We job. might have to hit him up. <laughs> we might have to hit him up. Is it? Do, do you think we'd make more if we went together? I mean, I could get we went together, though, shoes. I wouldn't be able to perform. I'd be embarrassed. Could you imagine we're doing this together? Like, I'm like, yes, okay, I can. now it's your turn to poo. We're toot getting a paid. Little. Yes, we will poo. I will go get some Taco Bell. That's going to give you nasty gas. It is. It's just going to. And if you know him, I'll feel a little safer. <laughs> Because you already know this person, so it's not like a total stranger. I would just feel better about it. I no, wish, I wish he would come on the show, and I wish Jock would get here. <laughs> okay, well, he actually texted me that he's pulling up. So, okay, um, so Perfect. right now we'll just go ahead and take a little break um, and go to our commercial, and then we'll be right back with our guest. Perfect. Okay, so welcome back, you guys. Now our guest is here. Young Jock is with us. Welcome, hey. welcome. What's hey, happening? not much. Yeah, so. Good. I so, was about to sing a Young Jock song. I was about to sing. I used to love that song. Oh my god! What you didn't even say the words. What was that country twang you put on? But you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I definitely know what you're talking about. Me and my sister used to really be bouncing our shoulders. But you know what my favorite song is? Juice Box. That's the one I like. How did that one go? I make a juice box wet. Yeah. Oh my god. We used to be at the stadium. We were fast. We were children, and our juice boxes were getting wet. It's so funny. All right. Because it made me. Think of two chains saying pretty girls love trap music. Yeah, you know it's, it, that's it's actually a fact. It's like yeah. trap music and drugs. Okay, yeah. well, let's okay, introduce man, it. Right. <laughs> so, anyway, um, yeah. I met Jack because we work together at Streets 94 5. That's right. But, um, you know, he's on Love and Hip Hop. He does a bunch of other TV stuff. What other shows? Um, that's Leave scared? it to Stevie. Leave it to Stevie. Mm. You know, we just recently did the um, Scared Famous on VH1. Uh huh. Scared um, Famous. That sounds yeah. like something I would like. 
Um, Maybe. I'm on another uh, TV show on VH1 called um, Down in 30. What's that? Uh, I, I don't even, even know if I should one. be giving all that information. Kind okay, of well, it's new. Well, not saying I'm... like, you know, I hate, because I, I know, you know, me being a, a um, personality on radio, I hate when people come, like a talent come in and they say something about something they do, but they can't talk to you about it. Well, we're really not going to ask you about we're it, not. so this we is the only know. time. Cool. How you fucking? Cool. Who you fucking? Cool. Yeah, that's you what, what we really want to know. That's what's happening. <laughs> All right, then, shit. Okay, so Let me sip some more of this wine. <laughs> yeah, I told you he was going to need your wine before we got started. So um, he does all that, and then he hosts the uh, Streets Morning Takeover. From 6 to 10, Monday through Friday on Streets 94.5. So we're going to play Never Have I Ever with you. All right. Um, do you think we should let him ask one question if he wants? If, if, you, he, have, if, if you, you have, have one. If you have an urge to ask a question, We'll let you, you ask one, to. to be fair. Um, mm-hmm. Okay, so we're going to ask you some questions to get to know you better. Do you want to go first or do you want me to? You go first. Okay, so my first question is, never have I ever sent nudes or a sext to the wrong person? To the wrong person. Yeah, to the wrong. I know y'all done sent it to the right person, but who sent it to the wrong person? That's for both of y'all. I, this is never have I ever. I, I've done I it. can definitely say I've never done that one because I am super like on it when I'm sending like a, a booty open you picture. Talk, you talk like a booty open picture. A booty <laughs> open picture. I ain't heard that one. A booty. I had sent a message in, to my mom Webster's. before. That was embarrassing. You sent the. That's a not whole a picture. Story. It was a text. It was embarrassing, yeah. And then I tried to like cover it up. I know I didn't really cover it up, and it we was, just never talked about it again. Yeah. I would at least s- I was grown at the time. This That's wasn't we like we should bring it up one day over drinks and see yeah, how it comes. Yeah, like mom, remember that time? I don't want to bring it up. I don't even want my mama to if listen she comes to on this the show, show. I'm asking. <gasps> Man, how do you think you got here? I know how I got here, and we just we have boundaries. <laughs> Moving on, next question. Right. Wait, <laughs> he's in? Oh, wait. Never, never have not- I ever sent news to the wrong person. No. You have never you have- done that. No, I haven't. Oh, it's just me out here. All right, well. I'm Girl. sorry to hear that, man. You might have been. Well, trying. for what? I did something and you didn't do it, so you know we flipped. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, because right. usually you be looking at me like, bitch. I know you never did. Never have I ever had sex with more than one person in the same day. Oh shit. I'm ah, go ahead and drink. Go ahead yeah. and drink. You don't even got to say that. And just take yeah. a sip. Because <clears throat> <clears throat> you told that cocktail I was waiting. <clears throat> I mean, oh, you were really checking for me like, I bitch, was. don't be go on ahead. your line. Mm-hmm. I took my sip, y'all. Because I, mean, yeah. I just had one by myself, so I wanted y'all to drink. You, <laughs> you knew, never you had knew. sex with more than one person in, in a 24-hour period? Mm-mm, maybe 36, but not 24. But okay. you, have, you have, though? <laughs> yeah, I took my sip. I did. I took it. I took a gulp. Oh. You got to listen to the past episodes so you know I, what I know, happened. Oh, I know what's going on. <laughs> not proud of it. Okay, never have I ever had an STD. Sip if you have. Yes, yeah, sip if, if you have. I, that one had threw it. me off. I was like, well, oh. wait a minute. Let me watch Look, the list. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, well, everybody's looking like, well, I ain't telling. Okay. Your turn. Never have I ever been involved in an orgy. Shit. <laughs> God damn, you're out here living. An orgy would be, mo- that's not a threesome. That has to be like five or more people. I feel correct? like it needs to be four or more people, is four what I would more. say. I don't know. More than three, because three more has a name. Three. Yeah. Three has a name, definitely Minaj, but but an orgy could definitely be four. Did you go to the Atlanta orgy party? Nah, but actually she came and hung out with us like um I wanna say last Sunday. When she yeah, was she around, better. were you like, hmm, you trying to go to the bathroom? Nah, not at all. Did nah. you think she looked better in person? Well see, I, here's the thing. I didn't I don't never really see her um the I didn't picture? see her promotion. Oh, okay. When I saw her in person, she was she was a decent looking, you know, brown skinned girl. I mean I've never seen her in real she life. She has a curious. very uh, eclectic kind of look. Essentially, mm-hmm. she switches it up, so it's not uh-huh. like she she's does. trying to be glamorous. Because mm-hmm. it's not like you're gonna look at her and automatically think she does orgy parties, you know? right? But she has yeah, a I decent shape. That. Where if she wanted to flaunt a little skin and, and, and put some heels on, the right makeup and hair, you'd be like, yeah. I... But let me ask you this: with you being a celebrity, have mm-hmm. you ever wanted to go to like an orgy party and then you're like, it's just going everybody's gonna be? Can I, can I be, be, can I be honest? Yeah, please do. I pulled up to trapeze like. Five times in my life. And didn't go in. And got, I'm talking about at the door, like, what's up? I don't care what they think. <laughs> Come on, girl, mm. what you want to do? And the girl, like, I mean, and they I'm like, don't know me. And I'm really like, <laughs> right. I, I don't know, it's just something about. Do you go idea. in or you are like, I've never mind? I've never gone in, man. It's so crazy. I feel you. Like, I may go soon just just because, you know what I'm saying? Because it, it wasn't like it was on my bucket list, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But it's kind of like, I just want to go see. So when I walk away, I can be like, oh, wow, this is what. It has been happening for so long that I've always inquired about, but never really. Yeah, we haven't been either in Atlanta. 
Yeah. And we said we were going to go for it. But that has she to suck if a, you are a celebrity. Could you imagine if I would have been like a celebrity doing that? You and would then not like, have gone I in. didn't even do anything. And I came out and you know it would be on the shade room. Like she was in there busting it open. Uh-huh. The trap but, fucking but, everybody. But, but places, like, whoa, <laughs> places like that though is, is very discreet. It's, I don't even think they're going to let you pull out camera phones and shit. Like yeah, but yeah. they would still have the groupie tails on Baller Alert if you were famous. Somebody's still going to see you coming out. Yeah. Okay, anyway. did you have another one? I'm good. Okay. Well, <laughs> we wanted to talk about she a few different things with you. They said so first of all, we, I'm good. <laughs> we watch you on Love and Hip Hop. Love and, and Hip Hop. And then I've seen you at work, and I just feel like you're a very charming person, right? Would you say that? Um, I'm curious to know what is, yes. I would I'm, definitely say I'm a charming person. Yeah, yeah, so I'm curious to know, what kind of dater are you? Do you like to wine and dine women, or are you just like, I ain't got time for that, I'm not doing all that, I don't have to do that? Nah, see that, see. You know, a lot of cats I always think it's it's like just these key attributes that a man has that that are like um, like okay, like for instance, most guys think you know if I got money, mm-hmm. women gonna want me. It's a lot of cats around that got money and women ain't interested because it's like you're lame, she, you're yeah, boring as she, fuck. Now you're gonna yeah. have some women who are gonna just rock, rock out with you because you got money, but that might not be the quality of a, of a woman that you really want. Want, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But then some cats w- with that type of mind frame, that's really what they pair up with. That's what they're equally yoked with because they think because they got it, they own. And it's a chick who, like, if I'm with him and he got it, then I'm on. So mm-hmm. they, they actually pair up well. But for me, I do believe in whining and dying on woman, man, because it's like you think about it, like, you know you ain't the first guy she done went out with, right? Right. You ain't did nothing new to invent the wheel. So you might as well just figure out everything that she has done. Maybe I could just put my twist on it and do it a little better than the last few times she's done it. And that way you uh, uh, uh you become a, a increment in her timeline. When she thinks back of this time in her life, you'll always be in a, that, memory. Yeah, a memory. Wow. In that like era. I'm really sitting here like would you Nah like for real. That, like think <laughs> about it. Fuck me or <laughs> Like that was just the way you said it, it was just like so heartfelt. No, nah, like, I mean I just think it's important, man. It like, is. A lot of times we get caught up as men thinking a woman is just a conquest because it's like, yo, if I fuck, hey. I got her, but it really mm-hmm. don't work like that. It doesn't. Because women, women also know, have have learned to detach too when it comes to their sexual that is relationship. Very true. And it's so crazy that you say that because Kiki and I had a conversation with <clears throat> some producers in the studio that we won't name, but people were saying that women can't really do that. And I was sitting here like, y'all, That's it's, a it's a different world. A, a woman can fuck you and be like, oh, we're just having sex. Now, I'm not gonna say everybody because not everybody. And then if you're telling <clears throat> us that you want something more and you're doing all of this extra stuff when really you don't want it, that's when you're gonna that's get the woman get who's not going to yeah. tell you that she was okay with that. When really, if you would have kept it real from the beginning, I think, you might have got it. I mm. think women are at the point, at this point in society, a lot of liberated, independent women, mm-hmm. they definitely believe in the a la carte rule. Like, yo, I can get the cat over here who got the brains, because at least I know he gonna make good decisions. Mm-hmm. I can always count on him to got down, steer me in the right way. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna fuck with a nigga with some money, because my car don't gotta bills. get paid. Bim, bim, bim. And I need my hair done. And these lashes ain't cheap. I got this, and then she, you always got that cheap. Like, shit, I got a nigga over there. He can't really dress. He ain't the flyest <laughs> nigga, but that nigga put that dick down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the He's probably real hood. Them. You don't know what the men, fuck he's saying. Men, we've Credit been doing bad. It forever. That's the that's that's our problem. We've we've done it for so long that it's second nature for us. A la carte. It's like, yo, I want that piece of meat, that piece of meat, and that piece of meat. Have you, you always that. thought that way? Or did it as take some time? What? Like so, you do want to find somebody that you can actually spend some time with and you want to wine and dine her. Well, you know, it's crazy. I always had long term relationships. Mm. But I am a charmer, and I do flirt. You know what I'm saying? And it, Are I, you a Libra? I'm a Virgo. Okay. Right there. Me too. Yeah, yeah that's what's up. Yeah, 920. So, like, I 923. think. 923. Face 913. These numbers all the same. <laughs> <laughs> but I think sometimes, man, though, you know, it's okay. Like, you want what you want. You know what now, I mean? Now, let me ask you this. Like, your young jock, this huh? young jock that we're sitting here talking to now, yeah. and then the, the, I don't know if you were still calling yourself young jock, but before you were young jock and everybody knew you, was it the same dating experience with that person? Yeah. Really? Because I've always been a hustler. I ain't never been no broke dude. Mm-hmm. So I always knew how to go get some money. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, it's like, in life, you can have so much and do so much, but there are necessities that you must have. Mm-hmm. And everybody must have and priorities and necessities are different you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying so for me i always knew i always wanted to make sure i had a cool a cool car you know, so i always wanted to make sure i had a cool spot you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying crib like a lot of my friends when i was 19 niggas was 
trying to have a Jordan collection. By the time I was 19, nigga, my, my crib was laced. Mm -hmm. Furniture, pictures, sconces on the wall. And he's like, nigga, what? What the fuck is a sconce? I was just about to say, am I going to look the, like the basic one? No, I don't know the what a light sconce fixture is. on the wall. Still don't know. Okay, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> we'll talk about it later. Like two lights that like come off the wall a little bit and they kind of be like vertical. Have you ever dated really basic women and you were just like, I know she's basic, but I like her. I yeah. have. I definitely have. And where do you meet that. them at? Yeah. All over. Because I don't never be meeting like celebrities just all like just anywhere I'm at. But then you do sometimes see like basic girls with You know what's crazy though? Sometimes, man, the basic chick is 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 uh it's a diamond easier. in the rough? It's, yeah, it's easier for your ego, too. Hmm. How do you mean? Well, because, like, a basic chick, and it depends on what basic you're saying, because you could be like, oh, that bitch basic, meaning, like, in a derogatory manner. And it's That's just, how I meant it. You just, <laughs> see, you're, you're using it figuratively. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Not like she does, like. If you use it this, like. I was thinking she's just Literally not basic, rich. like. like. Oh, I wasn't thinking Literally that. a basic okay. chick, like, meaning, like. A chick who, you know what I'm saying, I work my little nine to five. I ain't no superstar. I ain't no stripper. I ain't trying to be I don't know. I would call that a regular chick, well, not okay, basic. Regular. Well, I'm thinking regular. Okay. Because when you say basic, I like, think basic like somebody who doesn't even want though. more. Yeah. You know, somebody who just likes very simple, simple things. You just things, might as well say a thought more. then. Well. Because basic, you see what I'm saying? Because a thought can have expensive taste. It's broad. It's broad. It's, it's so and they broad, can really. like nice things, yeah. Yeah, it's just a thought. But, so you'll date a regular chick, and that's I believe, okay. I believe in that. You know what? Mm -hmm. For real, for real. Like, I never was the cat who wanted to have all the celebrity chicks or the, the high end, the top model chick. I don't like, fuck all that. Because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm really. Like down to earth, really. Mm -hmm. That's why. Like you yeah. want to be able to have could, a yeah. conversation. That's I don't why I could be so silly. Here. That's why I could be so silly. Yeah. And people are like, damn, where the fuck this job come from? <laughs> it been there, but yeah. I don't let everybody just, you know, it's it's kind of like you share it when you want to share it. And I think like that's why I like regular chicks. We're gonna use the word regular. Mm -hmm. I like a regular chick because sometimes, man, she ain't trying to do the most. I don't <laughs> want no chick like trying to be on Instagram showing her ass and shit for mm -hmm. likes. Like, nah, that's cool. I ain't knocking it. You know I was saying? like, you'll you still might... fuck her. Yeah, but see, I, me personally, <laughs> I like the chick who gives off the signal of not interested. Mm -hmm. I like that. And then when I get her, and then when we're alone, yeah. I'm like, okay. damn, I got something special. It's like, ooh. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like, ooh, to me. Opposed to when I'm with a chick, I don't want to be thinking, yo, everybody's seen this ass. Everybody know that tattoo right there. It's not really a big deal if everyone has seen the ass. <laughs> it's you know, not. It's, it's like, it's the not, way you said it. <laughs> it's not, but, but but let's be for real, though. Nine, out of t nine times out of ten, the woman who's so passionate about letting everybody see her shit, mm -hmm. niggas is playing in that. Straight up. Mm -hmm. Niggas fucking. Excuse my language. Niggas is smashing. Niggas beating. Mm -hmm. And that's just straight up. You know what I'm saying? Because, mm -hmm. I mean, what are you getting out of it? Yeah. What are you getting out What do you want from it? You want the fame. You want the attention. And mm -hmm. usually the woman who likes a lot of attention I would Jezebel. imagine that person doesn't even really Cover care about booties, you. Ladies. Cover your booties, ladies. She doesn't really care about way. you. They'll just treat you good till they can use you up. Them. Not I all, all of them. them just but most. <laughs> but a lot of them, I would say. The but ones I've met, that's how they are. They real. don't care. Let's, let's be for real. I would never say all dancers are prostitutes, right? Never. I would never say nothing like that. All strippers mm -hmm. are mm -hmm. prostitutes. But I will say that all strippers might do something Prostitutish. A little edgy, a little <laughs> prostitutish. Prostitutish. Yeah. Well, for Jezebel some change. Mm -hmm. You know? I mean, that's true. I, I mean, that's not like a thing where it's like. You're already naked letting the man see your so that's already most valuable pretty... possession. Right. And let's say Chris Brown comes in and he's like, if you just like jack my dick a little bit, put a little spit on it, I'll give you $10,000. I'm okay. doing it. You're a prostitute. That's prostitute. Prostitutish. I call yeah. that, uh, you know. See, that's <laughs> the movie that I'm on called Dating in Atlanta. Uh huh. And I believe that some women are prostitutes and some women are constitutes. What's a constitute? Constitute. All right, a constitute. Both of us. I'm like, writing this down. Constitute. Like, let's say, like a name. Us, let's let's. All right, let's think about it like this. You you might not say, hey, you gonna have to give me goddamn five hundred for this for this box. Mm hmm. You might not say that directly, but indirectly, you're like, look, you gotta spend some time with me. You gotta wine me. You gotta dine me. Find me. Mm hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that takes time. It's layers to me before you get to me because I got to feel comfortable enough to let you in. You and I'm, I'm totally about that. We talked about that. Remember we were talking about have you been okay, paid Okay, but why for do you sex? call it a constitute? Because it costs to be with you. It it's costs not to like get you're the, just It gonna... costs to get the booty. It's just it I'm does. not, you're not, it's just not a. I'm it's just, unspoken. Yeah, it's kind of, yeah, it's like. 
Okay, so I want to switch it up a little bit because right. I wanted to talk about flyouts because I was talking to a friend of mine. She flew out of the country this weekend to um, go see this guy. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, girl, you got a date. How cute. I hope you have fun. Take lots of pictures. I want to see. I've never been there before. So she was like, it's not a date. It's not a date. I said, bitch, this nigga is flying you out of the country. It's a date, right? Mm -hmm. And so she's like, no, it's not. So we go back and forth. She gets out there. She's like, girl, there was one bed in the hotel. I said, well, Aren't you glad it was a bed? Like, I knew it was going to be one bed. I hope you didn't think it was going to be two. Then she was like, oh, he tried to cuddle. He tried to do this, that, and the other. So I'm just like, okay, well, wait. Let's back up. What was the conversation you had yeah, it ahead like of time? Yeah, y'all weren't clear. She Man. said they never had a conversation about it. I said, as awkward as it, as it nah. may be, you, knowing this friend, you need to have that conversation ahead of time. Because I guarantee you that every man that I know that you know that's flying you out somewhere, he wants to fuck when you get there. Yeah. And that's just what it is. He might spend some time. He made plans. He put in the effort. But he didn't want to go out there as friends. That's not a friend I, you know, trip. <laughs> that is it's not, not a friend trip. You and if what? you want to do a friend trip, you have to put that explicitly stated before I will buy you... my ticket. Can I tell you so Well, funny? no, but just <laughs> say it ahead of time. Can what? I tell you so funny? Yeah. You know, that helped me to be a better person, a better man, the better man what? that I am today. The whole idea of flouts and shit like that. So what do you think about that? Please tell us. I mean, like, perfect example, me being young jock, right? Uh-huh. I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of times in my life, even before I was young jock, I'm going to be always honest and, 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 and That's transparent. That's what we like. I never had a problem getting no ass, mm -hmm. right? When I became Young Jock, it was times where it seemed like it might be a little harder to get the ass sometimes. Really? Because at that time, women would be like, oh, he's a, he's a nice guy. But you know, it, it don't take but a second to be around him, right? Mm -hmm. But then they'd be like, well, shit, he getting some money, he doing his thing, got a name for us, so shit. Ain't no sense of me got them trying to just hoe out for him because this Cause might I could be something. something. I might could. So hmm. then it turned into not wanting to give up the box. Mm -hmm. So it's it's funny. It's moments. <laughs> I where, would be pissed. I would see, be so. Like I finally see, got a name, and now y'all over here trying just to throw a pussy at me all this time. I ain't saying I wasn't getting it. I'm just saying like sometimes it they, just slowed down, it, and you be like, damn. What? And what happened for me is those moments when I'm like, shit, it's unspoken. Mm -hmm. You do some quote unquote. So you a fly out. Mm -hmm. You know if you I'm finna fly, you the motherfucking Vegas. Nine times out of ten, we fucking. I mean, that's I never what I mastered expect. the flyouts. Like the, that one mean? time when I got flown out, and uh -huh. I was like, I was so happy. I, I might have even told you. I don't know who I told. And the guy bought himself a first class ticket, you and he got me a coach <laughs> ticket. Oh. And I was like, what? Uh, what's ha what are we doing? And Why the lady am on the I airplane? The, the, this old white lady on the airplane. She was like. Cause he came back there to give me a drink, and um, I took it. I was young, I was super young, and the lady was like, "Baby girl," she grabbed my knee like this. You know when old ladies go. She was like, "Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. That's ridiculous, and this is disrespectful, and you should be embarrassed." I didn't even know her, and I was sitting there like, "Oh, uh, you're right. Face ass. You're right. Learned so many lessons." I was like, "You know what? I was so, I was so embarrassed. I just never mastered the fly out." Well, see, what I was saying, what helped change me is the fact that those unspoken guarantees that we mm -hmm. think because like shit, you find like you know you fucking and you come to see me you know we finna go ball I, you know we fucking right mm -hmm. the moments when a chick come out and you expecting that shit mm -hmm. and you realize you know what it's like it brings you back down to earth like oh shit i was kind of on my high horse because is it because i always get my way or is it because i actually just thought it was a unspoken guarantee like mm -hmm. if i fly y'all you know we fucking right mm -hmm. so when you get the moments in life the turn down it's so real, will bring you back to square one so fast it that it gives you a sense of reality. And mm -hmm. I think that's what I'm very in touch with. And most people don't know that until they have a real conversation with me. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, he's in touch, he's aware. Mm -hmm. And I think when I get to those moments, it made me start realizing, like, I don't like how that feels mm -hmm. to be turned down. So mm -hmm. I try not to put myself in a situation to be turned down. You know what so I mean? So no fly outs. I just, <laughs> you I just, just cut it off and, just, like, if yeah, you're not my girl, like, I mean, you're not coming shit, with me like, get a buddy pass. <laughs> like, I don't expect, like, I think the, 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 the thing that makes it easy to get ass from a woman or what you want from a woman is to not expect what she expects you to expect. Mm -hmm. See, the punani, the twat as y'all call it, mm -hmm. it's like a bank. You know what I'm saying? A Swiss bank? Whatever or like I invest Argo? into it, that's what it's worth. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh -huh. And you know it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever I'm willing to do for it is the value on it. 
Yeah. That's so true. And you know what? Have you ever been in a situation where it's like he's not investing a lot into it and you're like, yep. you feel really bad? You're like, wow. Like, it makes me feel cheap. It makes you feel like a cheap whore who yeah. never knew their parents. Like Either pretty one. woman. Yeah. But not so pretty. It just looks raggedy. And you you're know? like, is this really happening to me? Like, I've learned so much because I've been the girl where it's like, you're not investing anything. And it's because of what I was doing, how yeah. I was, you know, being with myself. Carrying yourself. I, I'm yeah. pretty sure we've been there in the same time in the box life. away or are you saying something different? You wasn't that girl. No, I'm saying I've been that girl girl before okay. and then as i grew i like you being honest okay yeah oh yeah we're always honest, <laughs> Too you, honest. Don't look, you don't look like that girl but because that girl doesn't have a look that girl doesn't Honestly. have a look sometimes right. and i wish you more know. people knew right. that I'm and you, you learn you, you hope that, that you learn I, i'm a totally different woman <laughs> than my body <laughs> she years. doesn't have a look well she sometimes look. you can kind of look in the eyes <laughs> you know. but i will tell you there's so many times like there have been people who have come on this show for example that know me and they've never had a conversation with me about sex or dating and so then when they talk to me it kind of alters their view, and sometimes it's good, and sometimes it's Why bad. So? But it's just Are like, you like it's, so left field with it. Mm, I Are wouldn't say edgy? that. I. I mm. I don't know. I think it kind of depends. Like, I think that people who know me, they meet me, they have this idea. And if I don't fit strictly into this box, because I think they have a very, I, a very clear cut idea of who they think I am and what I'm okay with, that is never the case because I'm a lot more open minded, I think. And then I've also made a shit ton of mistakes in my love life. And I think that people think that I have it more together who don't really know me. They right. just kind of meet me in passing. Can, and I'm just can like, I say no. something to you? Yeah. Um, I don't know how you're going to take this, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I love how he's <laughs> holding up this camera. I know. Hey, guys. Hey, y'all. But, like, you know, it's weird because I see you at work, right? Uh-huh. That's so weird. <laughs> and when you're at work, you're so professional, right? Uh-huh. And here you're still professional, but I know you got that edge. And I heard about this edge so many times. Wait before. a minute. <laughs> what did you hear? Well, because people talking about your, your shows, your mm -hmm. podcasts, and just like, not like, and I, no, no, I never said, no, I've never heard anyone call you slutty or trashy or anything like that. They better not, because I'm going to roll up and shoot you. <laughs> but there's this thing at work, and I, because we're not at work right now, I feel like I could tell you because it has nothing. It, it's, it talks about the workplace, but we're not in our workplace. Right. <clears throat> but everybody in the building loves you. Oh, really? And That's so sweet. All the dudes always laugh when you come down the hallway. It's like this, this inside. Thing. I'm telling you, I don't give a shit. Cause oh, I want to hear it. I may never have this moment again. I can take a again. compliment because I feel like us. it's going in a good I'm direction. Ready. Yeah, I'm like, I'm ready. <laughs> but every day when you walk in at work, uh -huh. you know, everybody be like, what's she going to wear today? Oh, really? That's why I was asking oh, you. Some, some days I look all the are you Kim K at work? <laughs> some days and some days but, I just look like Black China on a rough day. But you be, <laughs> <laughs> but you be coming to work well, some days well. and niggas be like, okay, then. All right. Yeah. I always thought people had mean things to say about me because sometimes See, I walk in and everybody looks and they just have this blank it's face so if weird. they're in the morning and I'm just like, hey, and I'm just like, people don't speak to me. They just be staring. It's just so weird. I think people Whatever. scared of the Me Too movement and I would be too. And uh, they should be, well, honestly, because niggas out here doing shit. Yo, it's like, I'm suing I got you. this whole thing. I got. I, I figured out a way <laughs> for me to just bounce it off where it never affects what I do at work. Yeah. Uh -huh. Somebody, If a woman says something to me inappropriately, uh -huh. I'm going to let her know HR. You said that the it. other day. You said I had. I got to tell you something. I said I didn't talk to you anyway because I wanted you to come on the show. And you were like HR, never mind. HR. And I was just like, okay, HR. well, I'm kind of HR actually. I That's don't know if you know like, that, but I know, I, I know. What I'm saying it's kind of it's, it's an inside thing because it's like HR. It's a reminder. Remember as a kid, you see the people wear a little uh, uh, something. They tie some on the finger. Yeah, to kind of like pinch them and bring them back to reality. No, guess oh, what? I don't know for. what we're talking about. Oh, you know, I thought you meant kid, like a little rubber band. You know, as a kid, they say tie a ribbon on your finger. To remember like something? Like if you have epilepsy? No, to remember something. <laughs> wait, I what? Wait, 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 it helps your memory. I never heard of that. So basically, you tie a ribbon on your... Because I never knew what the fuck it was for. Either. Like, what the fuck? I'm, how's it going to make me remember? Mm -hmm. But when you tie that ribbon, you say, well, I'm going to tie this on my finger because I got to be somewhere from 6.30 to mm -hmm. 8 o'clock tonight to do a podcast. Uh-huh. Right? Wow. You get to forget about it, and you be like, what the fuck? Oh, I got this ribbon. Oh, mm. shit. I'm supposed I to be doing this tonight. Podcast. So this is that reminder. I mean, HR. Do, do, do. <laughs> and it's that's like, like to let people know, like, be quiet. It's, it's, no, I got to cut like, it off right button. now. Do, HR. You got to always feel like somebody has that button. <laughs> say, HR, did you hear that? And that's, that's funny. always a constant reminder. Like, don't that's say nothing crazy at work. Because niggas is out here doing crazy. I'm I mean, people crazy. got fired for way less than giving a compliment. So, girl. You know? We did a whole it, episode about rapey shit that yeah. everybody should Bruh, that's rapey. Bruh, that's rapey. Like, that's we, what it was called. Every, <laughs> every oh girl God, has been in, bruh, yeah. that's rapey situations. I talked about work, actually. Bro, that's rapey, bro. <laughs> 
some stuff is. Like, sometimes people just take no, had, it too I had a far. a really weird situation one time, man. In, a, in the workplace? Yeah, man. Was it with somebody who you were already sleeping with? No. Nah. Oh. No, nah, hell no. Nah. It was, it's so crazy because I had, <laughs> a, a good I had a studio, right? And I had this engineer, and he's like, was kind of like, I don't know. It was like, it was like you, didn't, you didn't know. Like, you didn't mm-hmm. know if he had a preference for women or men. He was just so quiet and just... So to you know himself. how he's kind of like, nah, he kind of different. He grabbed your booty. No, nah, hell no. Nah. Oh. You heard about that. <laughs> I should have made the news. <laughs> he said that's so serious. So, yes. So the session was over with. Everybody was leaving. So I had the studio and shit. He was kind of sitting around. So I was like, shit. You straight, What's bro? That? He was like, he was like, yeah, I need to really talk to you about something. Oh, Lord. I would be that's so you fucking like. nervous. Nah, nah, I wouldn't nervous. What the fuck I'm going to be nervous like, for? I got a pistol on me. I'm in my shit. It ain't like, because my mind ain't there yet. I'm just like, yeah. what you want to talk about? I'm just curious. I'm like, what's up? Uh-huh. He's like, I don't really know how to talk to you about this. Oh, so that's oh when God. my mind started going like, well, what the fuck you want to talk to me about? Yeah. He's like, ah, I mean, we just, we two dudes, and I don't want to come at you wrong. Wait a minute. What are we talking? Where? So the situation started he feeling really ride. rapey. It started feeling really rapey because he was way <laughs> bigger than me. And I was like, <laughs> I like God. Please. Give me the serenity to not fucking lose and shoot this dude if he say something crazy. <laughs> Cause I was like, just say it, bro. Cause at this point, I was like, what? What you finna say? Like now, I need to know. Now I gotta know. And he was yeah. like, shit, man. I just need a few dollars, man, cause my my pocket's fucked up and I oh, ain't know how to ask you because I just started working for you. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, nigga, a few dollars here, man. You want hundred, man? I thought you was about to dabble in my booty. You ain't. Like, I thought you was gonna get that, but it was, was, like, yeah, bro, it was that moment. It was rapey. Face. Like I'm just giving you a yeah. rapey moment for yeah. as, as a man. I was like, hold up, bro. Now wait a minute. I'm still uncomfortable. He still, I was sitting down because I was tired. It was like six in one day. Like it's the sun that came. I'm like, you know, you sitting in the chair, your arm, you rest your arms on your legs. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's up? And he stood up, so I was like, what's up? Wait a minute. He was minute. like, you know, we two dudes, and I was like, hold on. So I had to stand up, because it felt <laughs> rapey. Because, bruh, that's rapey. You know, you have be to be out here careful. doing rapey shit. Like, niggas are doing rapey shit, and they don't know they're doing rapey, rapey shit, so rapey. Kiki and I had to set them straight. Like, yeah, we had to have a whole episode on it and let people know, like, some of the stuff you do is rapey. Mm. Um, don't say certain things. You can give somebody a compliment without being a creep. Absolutely. But like, and some people the don't know how to. Niggas be the worst. Oh. Like, do you realize it is nighttime and I'm walking to my car? You should not be trying to holler at me. Not yeah. in the way that most men do it. I don't think you're gonna me. kidnap me and yeah. sell me into sex trafficking. It and happens. That's just where my mind goes. Like, and we're in Atlanta. But you know what? I'm glad that. Here's one thing, because I always get compliments. And you know, sometimes those compliments are sexually charged as, as a man because it's kind of how we, not how we are raised, but society tells us, you know. That it's okay. You look mm-hmm. at the TV show, the dude with the coolest line going to get the baddest chick. Mm. So, right? I mean, TV, everything everything is promotes beauty and sexuality. Yeah. So, it's funny when you have homies and they say some creepy shit to a chick and you got to be like, bro, don't, don't that ain't it. Does that happen do a lot? Because I feel like dudes don't yeah. check their friends. Do. Like do. I do. I check. I swear on my mom and dog. I'll be like, hey, bro, that ain't it, man. And you you with me, don't do that because that shit look. And it, do they respect that? Are they like, oh, wow. Sorry. Or do they get well, mad? Well, you know, so it depends on if they know they fucked up. Because sometimes it depends on what state they in. Mm-hmm. If somebody on some, I've been drinking, bro. I'm like, hey, but still, you got to control that. Really but if you on some sober man. shit or drinking, if you on some sober shit, and I just feel like, man, that shit was. That was weak as fuck, bro, because it going to come back on me. Like, that nigga, you know, talk with some lame-ass niggas. He said some lame-ass shit. That's what's going to happen. That's exactly what's going to happen. I was, exactly you, I was at happen. Walmart one time, and I had on a sundress. It was summertime. You know, sundress. Mm-hmm. It's about to be sundress. You it got is. your sundress? I, I got a few. Mm-hmm. I've been ordering from Pretty Little Things. Right? Well, I was at Walmart, and mm-hmm. I was looking for something. I don't know. I don't really go in Walmart that often, so it had to be Face something like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so this dude, he literally said this. <clears throat> Man, like, you're so beautiful. And your sundress is, you know what he said? Your booty is eating that sundress. Ooh. What the fuck? I know that. But and I, my booty was eating the that's sundress. That's the sad but part about it. But you don't have to tell me say, that. Yeah, but you hell. do not say. Now, granted, I still fucked him. All right, However, well, this was a totally different direction. You do not speak direction. to me like that. Like, you well, know, how did you fuck him if he said that to I, you? It, I you told lost him. your credibility. <laughs> <laughs> I told him about himself. And it was like months later when he resurfaced. Okay. Bye, right. Medina. I, okay, I can't well, you don't even... say that. You don't say it. You know the best way? <laughs> you know the best pickup for a celebrity, though? What? At this point in time? You don't even try to holler at the chick. You just got to be like, yo, amazing. And walk away. 
Really? Cause guess that what? would actually work. Because guess what she going to do? She coming to your hey. DM. She might hit a little picture of herself and say, hey, thank you for the compliment. And that shit mm. end. It's so crazy right now. That's why me and my lady, I just be, I be playing the game. So safe. I have to. Mm-hmm. I have so you to. are in a relationship. I'm in a, yeah, I'm in a relationship. Oh, you're all happy and proud. I know, right? I like, yeah, I mean, I'm in a relationship, I think, bitch. I ain't single out here no more. You know, I think, I think sometimes people look at a relationship as the goal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Relationship is the payoff. But I feel like the person in the relationship is, and and, and that's what makes the relationship feel like the payoff. Mm-hmm. And I think you should be fond of anybody you're going to date. Like, yeah, you a lot should. Of times, a lot of times, just imagine you with your homegirl and your homegirl telling you, God, I like him, but X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z is all bad. And your homegirl like, well, bitch, you need to just find you another dude. You shouldn't, right. want to, you shouldn't have to feel like that. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that's why people be, when you find somebody who you really rock out with, I'm a soulmate, my soulmate. <laughs> My soul, man. All that shit. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I really just feel like, you know, like friends. Mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. know, when you get to a school, you know who you can fuck with. You're like, you know what? Nigga cool, man. Nigga, nigga real nigga. Mm-hmm. You know what? I like her. She's smart. She respectful. She a lady. You know, it's just it, it's kind of like that. And I think that's how you should feel about the person you're dating. Where like, did you y'all be, meet? Uh, Is she a celebrity? <laughs> no, she's not a celebrity. Okay. Fuck no. I thought I wouldn't really, really. I just wanted to make sure because people be saying shit and then we go look them up and we're like, no, why are you lying? Why are you right? lying? You're so stu- stupid ass. <laughs> mm-hmm. Face ass, lying and shit. People do be lying nah, but, all but, the time. But, all the time. But I just feel like, you know, you sp- like, like for instance, right now, if you was working for a company and you was promoting the next artist coming off that label, mm-hmm. uh huh. Imagine he fi. Mm-hmm. He the shit nigga, sauce dripping everywhere. Mm-hmm. Big old drip. <laughs> Big old drip. You gonna put it out there like, hey, no, this nigga the truth. Yeah, bro, I'm t- bro, I'm telling you. And when you believe in that person, see how hard you go for that person. Nah, nigga, for real, like I'm riding with this nigga. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, you start putting your chest yeah. out. You're not gonna talk about all those late nights in the studio when the bars wasn't hidden. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna talk about that. So yeah. saying? Only talk about the positive. Right. So I think like when you are dealing with a, a significant other, you're supposed to feel like that about like, oh, hold up, this motherfucker is what's happening. Mm-hmm. Like it shouldn't just be as a dude, but she fine it. Fuck, bro. Bro, the bitch stupid fine, bro. I got to have no. <laughs> you want to be like, hey man, she, bro, she, she, she solid. Like she fucking these hoes up out here. That's how you gotta feel about mm-hmm. your chick, mm-hmm. and vice versa for a woman. You gotta feel like, hey, he ain't bullshit. He's not here to play. Yeah, he's not here to play. And when you got that person who really rock for you and with you, mm-hmm. just when somebody cross it your feels path, good. yeah, it feel good because you be like. You look good, yeah. If I wasn't in this relationship, I would fuck the shit out of you, but I am in this relationship. So no. And I already got <laughs> everything I need. No more room for you. You just How long have y'all been together? Quite some time. That's good. Quite Because I was going to say, some, my mom and I were actually just having this conversation, and my brother, they're talking about sometimes, like, this stemmed from when we had Icon, talking okay. about investing into the wrong things in relationships. Yeah. And so I was just like, sometimes when you're with someone for a very long time, you start to kind of change. And so I don't know what like a long personality time wise or personality. What do you mean? I mean, just or everything. how you, treat you change. Other. People change. Like okay. that's just what happens. You change. Like you're just gonna change in five years, even in a year. You're not gonna be the Kiki you are right now. Not saying that's a bad thing. It's a good mm-hmm. thing. Sometimes you change so much that you just naturally start to your personalities just don't match anymore. That's true. Or you met on a certain level, One y'all are both going to different levels, and that doesn't match anymore. You know what I boy. mean? So yeah, I, I know why. exactly what you mean. Because it's like, especially if you're with somebody who you were with really young, and then you grow up. And then it's just like your lives, sometimes they go, grow together and then other times they, they grow, grow separately. Just yeah. like friendships. Yeah, and it's like it doesn't mean that you don't like this person I, or that you have hard feelings, but sometimes people do grow apart. Would, and that's, I would so imagine So to be with somebody tough. for a long time and you're still this happy, that's amazing. You have that, but I think y'all have to have uh, good habits. Mm-hmm. What do you, you mean? Yeah, you like have what good kind of habits? habits. Like, like flossing? Like sex habits? No, 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 they're just good habits in life. Like this person has a habit to... Put a little extra money away just in case. Mm -hmm. This person has a habit to go ahead and bring an extra change of clothes just in case. Mm -hmm. And that's when you say that motherfucker be on point. You know, you have. Wait, what's the extra pair of clothes for? I was about to say, does somebody have incontinence? No, what I'm I'm saying, baby, listen. (laughs) It's just a good habit for somebody to be on their shit. Good habits. Oh, so whether a good habit habit is saving money, Mm -hmm. whether a good good habit is knowing how to hustle. Mm-hmm. Uh, they have good habits when it comes to hustling. Mm-hmm. You do this and that. You don't overspend. Mm-hmm. You spend a little. You wait till the money in your hand before mm-hmm. you spend a little. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You no know, good habits because you can learn a lot. You know, they say you can learn mm-hmm. a lot from a dummy. So the changing yeah. clothes thing, you could be like, maybe you're on a date. Maybe you went, swiped right on a Tinder date, and mm-hmm. the guy is like this cute little Brazilian man. He's mm-hmm. in town for the month. 
Uh -huh. Leon's an amazing business. Okay. And y'all went to dinner. Uh -huh. And you look super good. You fly. You got your little cute shoes on. You looking cute. And he's like, I really wanted to take you to climb, you know, this this mountain. Well, don't and worry, you're like, the I bitch is like, well, I mean, I'm not ready. But imagine if you were like. Imagine. I brought my rock climbing clothes. I ain't never going to be ready I got for my, that. I, got my, I have my rock climbing clothes in my backpack. <laughs> I'm and he's never like, have this that. is the <laughs> bitch. But, 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 but why are you cleats. tripping? Why are you tripping? That's how life works. That's how life Cause, works. Because that's when somebody be like, yo. Well, I'm going to start packing some stuff. I mean, that's when me. the nigga is like, I'm, I want to see you again tomorrow. Think about it. And that is for real because guess what? It's like a homie situation. Mm -hmm. It's like, damn, nigga, I don't feel like stopping this late as fuck. I got this money on me. I got this weed. I don't feel like stopping getting no blunts. So she's like, oh, you need some blunts? I have some. No, I actually have next the next raw week. roller. You like, <laughs> really? <laughs> That's so. That's a good habit for someone to always be prepared. I yeah. usually just have snacks with it. and wine. That, cause that make, I keep wine. Because guess what? That be the shit you talk to people about. You're like, man, this, man, this motherfucker, every time we together, bro, it's like crazy. Nigga. If I ain't got it, this motherfucker got it. Vice versa. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you, a good host always has a bottle of white wine chilling yes. in the fridge, See? a bottle of red in some counter or a wine holder, right? and some weed, even if you don't smoke. Well, like I don't keep weed, but... <laughs> No. I do keep food because I don't like for people to come over and be hungry. So and I might food. have some wine and some cheese and so some cured meats. So how do y'all have people over? I'm curious. I'm just curious. I am in a relationship, so don't nobody. Like men I'm dating or just people? Because I'm single. Um, I don't have men over very often, okay. but I have friends. Some of them are mm -hmm. my guy friends, but it's not like we're dating or anything. So do your guy friends try to hit on you, though? Yes. Real. I mean, one of my guy friends that comes over a lot, I have sex with him from time to time, but it doesn't really count because we're not actually dating. But um, my guy friends, fucking, yeah, from time to time. Because in, in both of y'all mind, at the end of the day, when y'all doing what y'all doing, y'all engage, y'all, y'all. Well, yeah, something, right? but all I would say most of my guy friends hit on me and they try to sleep with me, and it just, it usually doesn't work, and it's just, it's kind of awkward, and um, a lot of times the guys that are in the friend zone, I'm not even attracted to them, and I'll tell them that, like I can be very blunt. Is that how a guy ends up in the friend zone because you're not attracted, or is it? Sometimes and some, it just depends. It's like a case by case basis. I feel like guys, I like Sometimes ugly dudes, and I'm very open about that. Like I love like a an ugly ass nigga. Not, I'm not saying I think they're ugly. No, I'm just not. I'm not like <laughs> into super fine dudes. It's like you just I deal love with a pretty a man. I'm not I love them. It. Like like so our amazing. man crush Monday today, Michael Kendrick. No, okay, no, now that is a fun. but I, I, I wouldn't Ooh. be with him because that's just a lie. You got a lot of traffic coming your way. I'm not trying to be in the traffic. See, that's how that's, I be feeling. Like I don't want to be in that traffic. That's why I don't want that celebrity chick who got who, who, who feel like much. she got to have a lifestyle. The yeah, rights. and you're trying to keep up. But so the friend friend zoning <laughs> dudes to me, it normally ends up being like we. You're boring. I am a adventurous yes. person. I boring. like to try we'll something. I'm quick, like, fast, I'm and in a hurry. I'm not the black girl at the pool party that's not gonna get her hair wet. We can get my hair wet even if I just got it done. Like I'm just like, Ooh. no, not if I just got it done. No, I'm wait, fine wait. with. I just don't, I don't like boring sure. people. Ooh. I don't like where it's like we're just eating dinner all the time. So, so let me. You're ask a this. friend now. Do you ever well. friend zone a guy that you're so attracted to, but you know he got a lot of traffic on his yes. shit, and you just like, you know what? I got a friend zone you because well, I know I'm going to be fucking with you. I friends would decisions. benefit zone him. Like, it will never be anything more than me sleeping with you. And that's it. That's not, that don't make sense. What do you it mean? Uh, You're looking out for you. Yeah. Well, you, you tried to look out for you until the nigga hit that button that you weren't trying to let him hit. But no, that's but you can I'm turn saying. it off. No, you, you can, can turn it off. Yeah. Think, Some you know women can. You think you can. Yes. You think you can. You think you can. No, that doesn't mean until every five man I'm until, fucking in, until but... Until it affects you indirectly in your next relationship and you don't realize it. Now, wait a minute. What? See? What do you mean? See? That, you got to think ahead. I actually get what he's saying. No, well, it's I, like I need you to elaborate. Because, like, you fucking with this dude, you got this, like, ah, oh, fuck with you if you was just this and that or that. Ah, the I didn't even say that. Along, Okay, well, cool. You got to know. Uh, but what's the what's the part? So if I'm saying I'm that, saying, then like, it's like know, I miss out on I'm the next real. thing. I done had a female friend that I was like, man, I love this bitch, man. This, but this my homie. I can't go mm -hmm. there. I love this bitch. I can't <laughs> fuck her. Let me tell you something. Like I got, I, I have female friends that I've encountered, and it's just like, but I know you a hoe. Mm -hmm. I know you like Does being that, that person. Like, yeah. I what do you think a hoe is? Get past it? Like, why? What would make you call this girl a hoe? It's like that moment when she tell you she a hoe. 
Like, <laughs> Wait, mean? is it what how mean? she rides the dick? No, what if she, she never tells you how she gives head? Uh, you know how you women, feel like I, if you're too good at sex, hey, listen, that makes you a Or if you get listen, really good listen, head, listen, you can't get mad because I know how to slob on the knob. Great. That doesn't mean uh, I'm a whore. I'm telling you from the real aspect of it. I'm not speaking figuratively. I'm speaking literally at all times. Okay. Like if a woman tell me, yeah, I sell this pussy, so. Oh, you, you wow. You're telling me what's up. Like, that's what I mean. Like, if you tell, I got homegirls, you got to think. Like, I'm you're the type saying of dude, verbatim. Nah, yes. yes. I'm the type of dude. That's what I that think a hoe is. To. If you were saying I sell I'm the my type pussy. Of dude, fuck, it ain't got to be saying that's a pussy. Hoe. I got homegirls be like, Jock, you know me. I'm a hoe. I'm going to get this pussy away. <laughs> Can she come on the show, please? I mean, yeah, send her they away. Out here. I definitely, I got, I mean, come on, man. Let's, let's be for real. Like, it's women People out here. People don't will tell admit you. to it, though. They'll they say it until they, they sit right here and right say They do. They do to the No, right they don't people. tell us. They do to the right people well, we who they know right that people. aren't going to judge them. I'm not going to judge you. I'm, mm -hmm. You judge free when you're in my presence. I ain't going to judge because I probably did some of that same whole shit that you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I just you're the hoe. You know you're the hoe. Yeah. I mean. You get what I'm saying, though? Yeah. Like, so when woman tell you, bro, bro yeah, boy, put that dick on me. But your other homie, ooh, I love that nigga. And you looking at your homegirl like, you Chill. Really have hoe right now. But, but let me tell you something. The hoes are fun to have around. They are. Like, everybody I think it's important to have, have a one friend. friend that you know if you bring her around in what, our days of going out all the time, you have to have the hoe. You have to have somebody that's going to fuck. The one hoe friend, she has different fun. boundaries. She has different boundaries, different limits. Mm -hmm. Like, she'll be like, fuck it, bitch. I'm going to go over there and holler them two motherfuckers and they're going to get us something to drink. You're like, yeah, go ahead, bitch. Or you're just like, uh, you just, it's unspoken. Like, we're talking, you're just like, let me do what you do. Everybody I mean, has a role. I'm in the friend group. You going I'm, out I'm, I'm pretty sure y'all got that one whole friend who, when you down and out, you just scared. I just need to get out. Okay, cool. I'm going to call a bunch of my partners. They come yep. through. And you like, damn. Wow. Bitch. And you asking mm -hmm. yourself, well, so which one you fucking? She's like, Shh, I love them. Well, oh, I know. <laughs> they don't usually ah, say that. Like, it, ah. like we might all have our friends. Like, depends on where you want to go. What club y'all want to go to tonight? All right. Well, let me call the Africans or let me call, <laughs> let me call these people. That's the same you thing. have no limit. But that don't mean you're. Friend. That doesn't mean you're fucking them. So then you got to figure out who fucking. somebody hey. is. Like, is it gonna be me or is it gonna be you? So I need to bring my whole Wait. friend so well, she can solidify Jock, the deal. I had to limit my whole friends because I got put in a situation one time where my whole friend. Made you look like a hoe. Well, she, well, she put me in the situation where we ended up like fucking a dude and getting paid, and I didn't. I just thought we were having a threesome, and then she was like, "Girl, he was supposed to get." And oh, I, was I like, remember this. What's what? Did you just prostitute me? What's happening? And where's my cut? And where is it? Cause I didn't get it, girl. <laughs> I had to limit my hoe friends. Yeah. You no, do. you're looking crazy. Like, and, and no, no, it's no, different no. levels hey, listen, to hoe friends. I never you know? Different you. levels. I was like, okay, I gotta go down a level. I will same. never I judge you for your hoe like tendencies. You really just pit me. And you took all my money. Yeah. Like, I worked for this, and I didn't get it. I was it. mad as hell. I was like, bitch, we not Your introductory that. fee. Yeah, you need that. Didn't get nothing. We'll have to talk about that further another day because oh, well, um, we're I'm kind of glad you went through that. At least you know you can't be played like that. I learned a lesson. Right? Yeah, you learned a lesson. Uh, we're learn you do learn lessons. Well, on that note, we have to move on to help some other people learn lessons with um, the advice letters. Okay. Did you print them all out? No, nope. but did I can die. pass you pass you one that was printed out. Okay. Here you go. Okay, let me open the email. You can read that one first, and I'll Nobody just find said another she one. Prostituted you, girl. Bye. <laughs> okay. So, give advice. Okay. I do that every day. We always let everyone know that we are not professionals, but we live the little life. I'm professional. So this one says, "My sis says I'm being petty." Mm -hmm. So I'm taking a chance and writing two strangers. I'm totally in love with my fiance, but I told him I want to postpone the wedding. <clears throat> He's acting pissy about it, but here's why. He has a child from a previous marriage who was 14. Love the kid, too. Wait. Yeah, love the kid, too. But we might have a problem. Both me and my fiance do well for ourselves, but I make about three times as much as he does. Ooh. Right now, his <laughs> child support payments are set. But if we get married, then things change with all the with all the what's mine is yours bullshit with the legalities of everything his baby mama is petty and bitter Ooh. that sucks she still isn't over the fact that they never made it down the aisle and i think she'll be petty enough to ask for an increase i don't mind helping to take care of their child but i know sometimes the judge gets a little crazy with these payments <laughs> i asked him to hold out until buddy turns 18 and now he's mad if we gonna be together what's another few years what would you ladies do protecting my bag so she's engaged to a guy who has a 14-year-old son, and she wants to wait until the son is 18 so she doesn't have to spend her money on child support. Because that's true. Like when you get married, <laughs> no. y'all's money becomes no, our money. It does it, not. It, it can. No. Yes, it can. It don't, it don't I don't like have that. kids, so I don't know it how it works. It don't work like that. 
It don't well, work like that. So what would you say? Is it's, she wrong? First and foremost, it don't work like that. Like, just because you, you marry somebody, you marry for that money. Does mm-hmm. that mean, that, does that work like that? I think it does work like it that. It can work like that. Like, my cousin had well, to pay more child support because the wife made more money. Because check this out. If my company, okay, like right now, my company may make a million dollars a year. No, but if you but make listen, a million. Listen, my company may make a million dollars a year, but I may only pay myself 100000 a year. What if a situation is like that? Well, See, she's not, saying she has a job, not a business. So I don't think it's like you're that. paying more. Yeah, I think. Uh, be careful. Well, See problem? if you can restructure your thing. She I doesn't want to. She doesn't want to have to she help pay she, too much. That's kind of what it sounds like. Yeah, like I don't want to pay too much, but I'll pay some. I'll help, but nigga, we're not about to just a whole. I'm taking care of your kids. They ain't coming out of my pussy. Guess exactly. What? She don't really love them, man. I was going to say the same thing. I was going to say maybe uh, you don't need to get married because when you do love someone, love trumps all, and you would just be like, Because guess what? Here it if is. If she really loved him, you wouldn't be sitting around talking about him wait four years. Just go on and consult an attorney, somebody who can legally tell you on these matters, mm-hmm. and then that way you can go on and move on and be happily fucking ever after instead of talking about we're going to wait four years because you don't want nobody dipping in your bag because mm-hmm. his goddamn son ain't of age to be written off a motherfucking uh, child support because what if his child go to college? He still got to pay child support. Mm-hmm. That's going to be another four so or plus she needs years. To seek you need to find counseling. somebody else. Yeah. That's what you that need to listen like. to him because he got kids. He know. Yeah. All right, next letter. Hey, ladies, I'm currently getting my summer bod ready. and I. Oh, wait, this is the old one that we read. My bad. Um, Hey, ladies. First of all, I... <laughs> you okay? <laughs> it's okay. Hey, ladies, first of all, I love the show. And next time y'all video record an episode, can y'all do a twerk test? What? Um, okay, that? here's a twerk contest. Sorry. Okay, here's my question. What would you do if you knew you tried everything and you couldn't satisfy your man orally? Would you feel some kind of way? I'm going through the situation right now, and I just don't know what to do. Please help. Sincerely, Unsuperhead. <laughs> well. Unsuperhead. Um, um, I'm going to let a man answer that because I don't. Yeah, what should she do if she's not pleasing him? I never had someone that me whose either. dick I'm sucking so, be so, like, well, I don't like this. Well, me either. Okay. We can't help. So, well, Jack, what you got? <laughs> human nature mm-hmm. uh, is all about evolution. She has to evolve. She has to get past that whole communication process where they're not really understanding each other. Mm-hmm. She has to ask questions. So, what do you like? Because if you, if be you don't know the what conversation, because if, if you don't know, if you've never had something, right? Mm-hmm. Then how can you say if someone is doing something wrong or right? Although you know it may not be what you fond of at the moment mm-hmm. but if that person has had something that they like then they can tell you like say hey look here baby do me a favor take your top take the one hand <laughs> and, and you just work the top of that motherfucker while you get to spit it mm-hmm. and take the other hand and, Play and my juggle balls my balls, balls. Or, lick, lick my booty hole or a little bit some niggas might not even want you to touch his balls just grab the bass mm-hmm. some niggas get caught up in some shit they heard on the song can you do it with no hands yeah can you try like, it like I don't, I don't really care for a woman doing it with no hands I don't know why anyone would want to do it with no hands. I she might die. Some people do impact like that. What? She's what? Doing. She <laughs> might die. She might. She might die. I've been fell and tripped. Well, it sounds like you my... guys just need to communicate a little bit better. And maybe it's he tricky. doesn't know what he likes. And y'all can make a game out of figuring out what it is that he likes. And make right. him do the same for you. Yeah. Because you probably ain't. That's well, I'm just all about long. learning. You have mm-hmm. to ask questions. And when people ask you to do things, just try it. Carlos Sh- said hey. he doesn't like when I go to sleep every night with my hair wrapped. So I've been trying to not. It's annoying. But Bless I'm your doing ends. It. Guess what? <laughs> just watch a flick together. That's always compare, fun. Compare. It's always fun. Because it's not the same on every situation. Yeah. It's not. So now we're going to move on to our cocktails. Uh oh. Yes. I'm going to start. Okay. Because I have one that I thought about. I'm always trying to dig in my past and get like the good cocktails because I am in a relationship and I don't really share stuff about me and my boyfriend. Oh, that's awesome. But so Fair um, there was this guy I, was, I met one time. I can't remember. I met him at two spin. I met him at spin, girl. So he was African. This was before Africans were doing all the fraudulent stuff. Well, before I knew about it. And um, but he what was, Africans were doing. He was a different stuff. type. He was a different oh type God, of African. So we started hanging out, and um, he told me that he was an African prince. Kiki. When he told me those words, I was like, I'm going to do a little extra. Next I knew you was about to say that. I'm going to do a little extra. I'm going to do a little okay. extra. He took me to his house one day. And I brought one of my friends with me, and she was the the, the side, the wing girl. She was yeah. talking to his friend, who was way cuter. And I was like, I don't got stuff with an ugly ass happen? prince. So he says he's the African prince, and I'm like, we there was a he had a movie theater in the house, and mm-hmm. I was like, wow, this is so cool. So like, um, 
we I'm like kissing him super sloppy and like just being like super porn star ish. Mm. You know when you get like that. I'm yeah. just, let me show you what you could get. We never <laughs> had sex, but like I was super sloppy with like head and kissing. Uh huh. So like what? one day we went to his house and like an old lady was upstairs and he was like, Oh, that's my mom. He had an accent though. He was like, That's that's my mom and I was like, Well wait, I thought you were a prince. Like he was like, Oh well, it, you know, like with princes you know the mom lives with you and so i was sitting there like i was like oh, okay well hey mom he's like she doesn't like american black women and i was like oh, okay he's what? like just go downstairs and be quiet and i was like okay how well, long were you down there not that long okay. it was in the movie theater so i was just put on a movie and i'm watching the movie he comes down explains it so stuff just started not adding up turns out he was not a prince he actually lived with his mom he was there visiting and he wasn't even a legal citizen he was still an african citizen and he was a liar and i just found that out the other day. Uh, you Shut the bitch. fuck up. You just found that out? The That's other so day. Up. Like, I was like, I'm still, this whole time I've still been thinking I could be an African princess. No, nigga, he was not a prince. You thought you was he was a princess, a Medina of Zamunda. What yeah. What was, movie? what was the little car animated movie with the little girl? In was it Disney? Bayou. Yeah, in the Bible. Oh, uh, Princess the Princess and the Frog. Frog. Yes, he <laughs> said he was Princess she Tiana. Was, I was like, why this shit always happened to me? Girl, <laughs> he was I, not no damn prince. I don't know. He was having too much fun. This That's nigga is a was. mechanic in Africa. <laughs> He's a mechanic. He's probably a really good mechanic, though. And he knew that shit would work on an American-ass girl. I'm that's a prince. That's what y'all be looking for, the payout. I learned. This was a long time ago. Everybody I've learned wants a my lesson. Charming. I don't give a fuck what you say. Okay, this cocktail is from a listener. She actually sent one in before. I won't say her name. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to skip this whole beginning part, girl, because it's long as fuck. Basically, she's a ghetto girl who's refined, and she was fucking with this hood nigga, and she felt like she was above that, and she found out that she wasn't. So... This night, I decided to come over because I didn't want the Saturday evening to end, and I definitely needed to get high. I get to his house, and Mm. we smoke and watch the wood. We're having the best conversation, really vibing. I lay on his bed because the high relaxes me. He then turns the lights and TV off and snuggles next to me. He starts rubbing and squeezing my ass, which is my spot. I get wet, but I just lay there, chilling. Well, he whips out his big dick and forces my hands on it. To check the length, I feel and stroke it up and down. So I turn my back and he starts pulling my ban- my panties down and positions himself between my thick thighs. I ask him, does he have a condom? Because it's safe sex or no sex over here. So he eases it in real slow and OMG, I almost came immediately. This nigga had the fucking moves, but I was so turned on by the fact he kept telling me how amazing my pussy is. I'm so happy I know how to grab dick with my pussy muscles. Okay. We literally were driving each other crazy, but get this. We went four rounds in three hours. I came so many times that I could barely walk to my car to leave. He begged me to stay, but I declined due to the shame of it all. We were never supposed to fuck, and then boom. I need some more, and I need it now. Sincerely, shocked the dick was good. Well, well, that's amazing, and that was a great way to end the show. Yeah. Oh, wait. And do you have one? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I've been I don't drinking. Have one to talk it's that. okay. You have to give a cocktail. Yeah, yeah just like give. A, you can give like an embarrassing. Book, eh? I know, right? This isn't mine. This Cause is I was I'm wet. My juice box Did is you? wet, Jock. <laughs> <laughs> that juice box <laughs> is juicy. That wine didn't help. Huh? I know how that goes. <laughs> so you want me to tell a story? Yeah, yeah it can be an embarrassing one, a funny one. It doesn't have to be like that. It can be old. It can be from high school. Shit, hell, it can be from elementary school. Well, very, very, very funny situation. So. I was dating this older chick, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, I can't even necessarily say dating. We was just smashing because we had never gone anywhere. I never spent any money. She had never spent any money. I'm glad you know. Some it, friends. Yeah, it was just I saw my neighborhood. I was still a young man. So my mom was telling me she's dating this dude who drives this Chevette. So the what Chevette the hell is, is a Chevette? You know the little little. No, uh, we don't know. It's still like a little hatchback. A little okay. hatchback. Remember on House Party? The, the car Martin drove. I'm telling you, we don't know. You don't know what the hatchback is. I mean, uh, okay. Oh, we know what a hatchback is, but <laughs> I mean, go, go no. ahead. Oh, sorry. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> so anyway, the little Chevette, I'm thinking it's going to sound like. Uh-huh. So I was like, look, come down to the crib, chill with me for a minute. I ain't telling. So I opened the window, the front window, because that's where the car parks at. I'm, I'm going to hear if the man pull up. So I'm in the. She like, look, I'm on my period, so I we can't we can't do nothing. Yes, but, you can. But, but, go ahead. but <laughs> yeah, go. well, you know, she was like, look, but I got you. Mm-hmm. I'm like, all right. I'm like, let me open this window so I can hear. 
Man, she going in. I'm talking about, I'm sitting on the sofa with my pants down, underwear mm-hmm. down. My pants. And she going the fuck in. I'm just like, oh, shit. My mama didn't tell me that the man was a fucking mechanic and worked on planes. All these damn mechanics. So his car don't sound like, his car sound like nothing. Mm. I didn't even hear the shit pull up. Her, my mom and her friend walk in the front door. I'm getting topped <laughs> off. Oh, squeeze. my God. I'm Stop like, lo- like a little bitch because it's a grown <laughs> woman. Like She was like twice my age. I was like oh 17. She was like 37. What the fuck? Fucking me up. I'm mean, like, young nigga. And I'm like, uh. And my mom walked in the door. I'm like, uh. And I tried to pull my pants up, right? Uh-huh. When I pulled my pants up, my underwear rolled up. And they rolled up. And they stopped at my knees. So my pants can go past <laughs> that. So I'm sitting there like this trying to lean over my <laughs> shit. Uh-huh. Oh, that was so embarrassing. That is and so embarrassing. And I looked up in such shame. And she walked in. Shit, shit. They went out to eat. She probably said, they food. Mm-hmm. I, I know y'all motherfuckers done bumped y'all head. Oh my like, God! Did, she's like, "All right, tell your friend going on to the house." That's what she said. She's a grown woman, so she, Did she, like, she didn't know. I take it. She, I mean, she knew she was fucking with a younger guy. But no, no, no. Your she, mom no, she, didn't know no, that that was a grown she woman. No, she didn't look as old as she sounds, but it was amazing. <laughs> so she's like, "All right, baby, get the fuck on out now. I'm That's being what nice." Mom said. <laughs> so, yeah. so the girl walked out. So she said, "Walk your goddamn friend home. You, you're gonna be grown. You, you thank your man now." At least walk her home. I'm, I'm going to tell you the right way that. to end the yeah. shit out. So I'm walking up the street and shit. <laughs> Still dick, trying to get your pants together. Hard. What the fuck just happened to me? I'm walking up the street. She's like, oh, my God. I am so embarrassed. Oh, my God. I can't even show my face. I'm walking up the street like, man, that was the best hell I ever had in my life. Unfortunately, it had to end this way. I see you around. So I go back in the house. My mom said I smoked goddamn cigarettes just looking at me. She got this look <laughs> on her face like, you know I'm going to fuck you up, right? So oh I walked God. in and that classic phrase came out my mouth i brought you in this one. Oh wait wait sorry it which one it ain't it ain't what it looked like i i felt so stupid she said nigga i said i know it literally was what it looked it like it literally i like i know mama i i didn't even know that was gonna come out and she looked at me do you think you i'm know, stupid you know it's very disrespectful i was like mama i'm sorry i'm just at that age where i gotta get my dick sucked. <laughs> I'm, ex- I'm, ex- I'm exploring life and she was like no, i can respect that but just don't do that shit in my house i was like did you learn your lesson? Yeah. Or you did it again? I ain't never fucked nobody in the house after that. Do y'all joke about this or is this something where it's like, Wiki, oh, no, you it's just funny. don't talk oh, no, about man. it? My mom, she telling it all, man. We don't give a fuck. We talk about the shit. I would be like, please don't talk Life about it. Life's too short. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's, my mom it, would talk about it. I don't it, want her you know, to. You talk about uh-uh. different levels. You, you'll you unlock a whole nother level in your relationship. We have a great relationship right now. I'm good. That's the great thing about growing with your parents and being open. Like I remember I asked my mom, do you and dad still have sex? And we had a whole conversation about it in my grown years. It's just like you you learn your parents on a like different level. My mama was dating real people. When this dick people. video came out, I'm good. When we don't need you, to talk about sex. When are you supposed to stop having sex? What, what did age? she call him, though? Not Seraphie. Sarah. She said, you think Seraphie going to answer my DM? I don't I know said, who Seraphie is, mom. You need to chill. Like, no, I don't know. I don't want to talk about that with you. That's too much. Jock, tell everybody where they can find you. Oh, yeah. because we got. Uh, you can catch me on my IG, Jock Live. Um, cop, catch me on Streets 9045. Hey. ATL, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Streets 945. I'll be around. I'll be out here. You'll Come see on. me. Well, thank you so much for coming. Thank and you. remember, you were a pleasure. Yes. That's we'll have to have you, you back one yeah. time. We'll um, reserve more time. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, time. I, I apologize. <laughs> Bitches in here knocking on windows and shit. Okay. Uh, uh, anyway, you guys, make sure that you rate, review, and subscribe to the podcast. And, and download. follow us. Yeah, and follow us, Cocktails Podcast on Instagram and Cocktails ATL on Twitter. And then I'm at Kiki Said So. I'm at Coffee Bean Dean. And until next week, you guys, goodbye. goodbye. Would you stop thinking about what everyone wants? Stop thinking about what I want, what he wants, what your parents want. What do you want? What do you want? It's not that simple. What it's- do you want? What do you want? Okay, Diane, so tell us what little cute date idea you have for us. Summertime is coming up. What you got for us, girl? Hold on, I gotta breathe. Hey, ladies. Oh, my gosh. So I'm sitting here, and I'm like, there's so many different landmarks in Atlanta that people just forget about. I want you to get your cutest bow. 
that has a little money because the Georgia Aquarium, it costs about 50 bucks to get inside. Diane, I think it's more like $39. Whatever. You need to go there on a date. Go to the Georgia Aquarium. Go in the morning. Book something private like swimming with the whale sharks or, 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 or playing with the beavers. I don't know. That sounds really cute if you like animals. You guys, you have to go here. If you've never been to the Georgia Aquarium, you're going to love it. The address is 225 Baker Street, Northwest Atlanta, Georgia, 30313. Get your tickets early because they sell out. Thanks, Diane. No problem.